Hi guys, so um, I just doing a quick video. I've just bought a new uh, Q8 uh, Technoset Queen X, um, Castle. Um, pretty exciting about this. It arrived yesterday. Um, I've been having a little problem um, with one of the Queen Castles that, that I bought, just a standard wooden one, that uh, one of the Queens managed to get through to the other side and kill off one of my other virgin queens. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't even the virgin queen. It was still in the cell and um, still emerging. So, uh, hadn't emerged yet. So, um, I went in to check that they'd emerged. Two of them had and the other one was torn down. So, I thought, I need to sort that out. I need to sort of work out what to do. But I decided that I wanted to buy one of these Techno sets uh, because it do, does eight queens at a time. Um, I generally only graft... 10 at a time um mainly because i'm only a small time uh hobby beekeeper so um 10 is well and truly enough for me um but i thought at least with this queen castle the queen q8 um it would do everything i wanted it would be able to raise eight at a time i can do two others and nukes um if i get 100 percent success rate which i have a few times um anyway so i'm going to show you this now um so just for your little information, um, it is now spring, we're in New Zealand, um, so just getting into queen rearing, we've just got drones out flying now, um, so yeah, it's a good time to do the, um, the grafting, and I will be checking some grafts that I did yesterday shortly, um, but I thought I'd show you this first. Okay, so I'll just drop this down so you can see the queen castle itself. Righto, so it's got on the sides here, um, you know, really secure um, latches to make sure that you can uh, that you can lock everything down really well. Um, we don't have bears in New Zealand, but we do have sheep and cattle that will get into things. And actually, the worst is my horses because my horse loves to get into everything. Um, it's got a latch at the bottom to attach the box down onto the baseboard as well. Um, it has got entrances. Uh, two on every side. So on this side, <laughs> took me a while, I worked it out yesterday. This is one of the entrances. So you just pull this up. Oh, is, is it up? No, it's not up. Um, so you pull this up and that is an entrance for this um, section. Um, push it down and it's all closed up so the bees can't go anywhere. So you've got complete control over um, containing what's in here so when you're setting it up you can lock everything you know put everything in lock it all up um, so the bees can't get out which is great makes life easier and um, there's also one over this side um, but there's also another one here I'm not quite sure why they put one for this compartment in or two really for this compartment and nothing over on this side but that's okay that was there how they've done it um, and on these sides, as you can see, there's one here and one here. So these are for these compartments. There's a compartment in this bit, and a compartment in this bit. Um, so when I open it, that you that will probably be a lot more clear as to why. Um, okay, so we'll open it up. So this top um, board or the, the lid um, has ventilation, which is great. Uh, you might be able to see the ventilation. Well, certainly you can see it uh, uh, here. Um, and also down on the here and here. So having ventilation is really important. Then you get to the eight sections. So each section is fully contained. So um, this one. So this has got uh, where you feed your sugar syrup in here, this part, um, and the bees go up and through into here, up, feed in there. This side here, you can pop in uh, your pollen paddy um, which means that uh, to go in and feed your bees you don't have to um, have any bees flying around at all so you can do this without suits um, or without any protective gear. Uh, the only thing is if you are going to do your pollen paddy you'll have to open this and the bees will be able to come up but it's unlikely that they'll, you'll, we won't get too many anyway. Um, anyway so pollen paddy, sugar syrup um, on top of each compartment which is fantastic. Um, I've actually got the other seven compartments. I've um, I've taken the frames and I have put them in hives already. Um, they say that a minimum of five days in a strong hive, and they should draw them out. Uh, the queen should have laid in them, and then you um, 
you know, set to go take them out of that hive and pop them back in here with a queen cell. Um, and it's all ready to go. So these things, my biggest issue with these is they're quite hard to click in. Although that works really easily. Um, so what they do is they uh, go like this. So when you put them into a normal hive, um, a normal full depth hive, then you just put some sheets of foundation on these. Hopefully they won't draw drones because mine are really good at drawing drone cells. Um, if they have, uh, well, actually I, I usually do natural so they don't have um, any foundation, so foundationless, and they really love drawing um, drone comb on that. Um, but these, hopefully, because they've got a wax foundation, um, they will draw um, worker brood only. Um, so yeah, so this goes into a normal hive. And then when you've finished, you have to be a bit careful, obviously, once you've got um, comb in here. But you can just close it back up until it's three. They do recommend that you have a, um, a frame holder to do this, um, which is logical because it's quite... Um, you know, you have to be quite careful with these because if you're picking up from here, um, there'll be comb um, in there, so you need to be a bit careful. Anyway, so they sit into there. So each compartment, as I say, I've done the others, so each compartment has its own slot for putting your frames in. Um, and then you just put the feeder on top. And away you go. So... Pretty cool. Um, these are the little queen excluders that go on the um, on the entrances. Um, I'm not quite sure why you'd use them. Um, after once your queen's mated, I suppose you could put the um, queen excluders on to try and stop them swarming. Um, I guess that is one of the issues if you have only one frame um, and it's all drawn and uh, the queen starts laying in here and she runs out of room. Um, really you need to get her out of here and into a, um, her own hive. Um, probably the best way to do that is to take this frame, uh, open it up with the queen, or maybe take the queen off while you're mucking around, but um, click it back into place, um, put it in a hive um, or in a nuke box maybe with this and with a frame of preferably a merging brood and um, like emerging that day would be great because then there's not doesn't need to be too many bees to keep it, them warm and they'll become the um, bees that keep everything else warm if they're just emerging um, and also some feed so a, a honey frame would be great um, and then that queen will build up um, and an empty frame obviously you'll need to have so they can build up more comb um, she can lay and the swarming instinct is not so great and then you would take this frame back out pop it back in here so um, it would be really great if you could buy extra frames I think you probably can because um, then you can just keep this queen castle ticking over um, and, and remain with a frame going into the new hive to um, go with the queen anyway that's a wee rundown on it I will do updates um, on this as we go along um, see how it works. I'm pretty excited about it. As I say, I've got queens um, uh, that I grafted this morning. Oh, sorry, yesterday. Um, I'll be going out and checking them shortly. Um, I have got seven frames in the hives already being prepared. So uh, I just got, need to put this one, put the foundation in this one, um, go and find a, a hive to put it in. This, they recommend that only maximum of two of these per box. Um, I have got one other full hive that I could put it in, but I'm a little bit worried about it at the moment. I think it might have a bit of an eczema or something going on there, so I don't want to put this in there because I don't want um, that um, infection to go through any, anything else. Um, so I'm not prepared to put any frames in that hive at the moment. Um, and I have got all my other hives. Uh, I have another issue. All of my other hives, um, I'm going to... Uh, three-quarter depth not full depth um, so that is a bit of a problem because uh, finding uh, I don't think I've got four full depth boxes <laughs> anywhere to be able to put um, eight frames in so anyway so th that's why this one's sitting out at the moment um, I may just have to make this a seven castle for a little bit while I 
get myself organized um yeah so i'm getting rid of the full depth the reason for that is because that i just find them too heavy um so i'm going to the three quarter or medium um boxes and they don't do queen castles in medium unfortunately um although my other queen castles that i've got the wooden ones that i um bought are three quarters which is great um makes life a lot easier for me to work with those so i will be having to keep some full depth nukes just um for this purpose and full depth nukes are fine because they're not quite as heavy um only five frames in those um anyway so this is my technoset queen castle um i will update you as i go along um please like and subscribe and um i will keep you updated you'll get all the um updates of when i'm doing new videos uh, so we're in the opposite season to all the people in America and in England um, in Europe. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing queen rearing videos throughout your winter. Um, and hopefully you find them interesting. Thanks heaps and um, we'll see you later. Bye.